Welcome. Today I'm going to set up a form that's going to let me accept payment and information about students who are going to go on a trip uh, for piano camp around the holidays. So to do that I'm going to use the payable add-on for Google Forms which you can find in the pay, uh, Google Workspace. But we can also go to payableapps.com and use their free templates to help save us some time and get started quicker. So on the templates page we can find the school trip form and then quickly copy it over to our Google Drive. And then once it's there, we can customize it to reflect uh, the school that we're going with, uh, you know, who needs to go, the different details of the trip, uh, anything we want to do. There's also lots of details that we've left you to help you get started in the form. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll customize this and get it set up for our piano camp. So I've got it set up for the piano camp. I changed the header image, I just changed some of the details, made it a little briefer, changed some of the questions, uh, made some different things like you know the trip details, uh, what they were agreeing to, or removed some of the questions as well that weren't just relevant for this trip that I'm planning. The next thing then is to use this puzzle piece at the top and make sure that you've found and added the payable forms add-on from the Google Workspace using this puzzle piece at the top right. Once you get that, it's going to give you this nice pop-up form that lets you do lots of different things using the add-on to help as you accept payments. But the most important one is to get this sidebar popped open, which is just going to be this bot form at the bottom right. That's going to let you do a bunch of the getting started details like getting your payments set up. Uh, and then also test the form to make sure that you can actually accept payments and that they're going smoothly. Before we do that test mode, what I like to do is go to the responses page and make sure that my sheet is all set up the way I want it to, to accept uh, the details of our participants, and then also what status their payment is at. So we can see this one here that I've roughed in is already at this paid test mode status. Let's see if we can go and, and just jump through this quickly here. If we use this as our form, we can try and make a new one. So I'll fill this out quick. As I've gone through and filled out the form, you can see here the key with this payable add-on is that we're going to have this little dash and then the amount using the dollar sign, which is what the add-on is going to look for when it's making up our cart uh, from the Google form. We'll finish off this, agree to our terms. Add in our little extras, a little donation. And then on this confirmation page, you can see this nice handy link that's going to take us to our checkout. Now that we're on the checkout page, you can see here the details, our little donation, we got the extra shirt. And then we can go through and do a, a sample checkout using these sample cards if we wanted to. Uh, but for right now, we won't. We'll go back and see what this looks like in our sheet. In our sheet, we can see this new one has gotten added in. It's still in test mode. We haven't checked it out, but we can see it's already populated in our form. So we can really keep track of our participants and our possible registrants, and we can email them if we want to or give them a call based on the details that we've collected. If we're happy with this form and we want to start sending the form to our participants to start collecting registrations, we just need to go back to our main form where we can edit things. Make sure we're in this payable pop-up on the bottom right where we can do all our adjustments. And we'll go down towards the bottom and just flip the testing mode off so that it's for real money. Green means go. And now you're ready. You can share that link, which you can always find using this I in the top right, the preview. That's going to be your sharing link. Uh, and then you're ready to accept payments and registrations for your piano club field trip.